Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province has issued personal COVID-19 prevention guidelines in four languages, English, Kazakh, Uzbek, and Bangla, so as to encourage active participation of foreign residents in COVID-19 response efforts as part of society. These guidelines can be accessed via foreign community SNS channels, including YouTube. On September 1st, the 346th Extraordinary Session of the Kyungi Provincial Assembly began an 18-day run with a general meeting. With the second general meeting slated for September 17th, this extraordinary session will see the deliberation of more than 60 items. These items include the second revised supplementary provincial budgets of the year, which amount to 33.2 trillion Korean won, a 4.2 trillion Korean won increase from the first budgets. Kyungi Province is helping farmers who had been supplying eco-friendly products to schools but are facing difficulties due to the prolonged COVID-19 pandemic and monsoonal rains. Through this provincial initiative, the Kyungi Agri-Food Institute purchases the farmers' products, while the Korea Kyungi Do Company sells the products to general consumers through its online mall. This sales event features government-certified organic vegetables and grains that are being sold at low prices without delivery charges. As a result of Kyungi Province's recent recruitment of emergency COVID-19 personnel, a total of 722 medical professionals have volunteered as of August 30th. These include 313 nurses, accounting for the largest group at 43 percent, as well as 169 assistant nurses and 87 oriental medicine doctors. Of these volunteers, 19 nurses were selected and assigned to home care system operation, a Kyungi Provincial Medical Center, and two accommodation type treatment centers. After a recent series of large fires at warehouses in Kyungi Province, it was found that the most frequent cause of these fires was human negligence. Of the 758 warehouse fires that occurred in the province, 284 were related to negligent acts such as smoldering cigarette disposal and power cord mishandling. The province is doing its utmost to prevent similar fires. These efforts include the preparation of related legal amendments and regulations that will apply to the 28,266 warehouses in the province. On August 31st, Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung visited flood sites in Yunshan County to view damage and assess the progress of restoration efforts. During his visit, Governor Lee determined that flood damage can be prevented through cooperative water flow management of the North Han River and Imjin River by South and North Korea. He then proposed that water management be included as part of inter-Korean cooperation projects. In cooperation with local police, Kyungi Province began inspecting service business operators, including restaurants, cinemas, and indoor sports facilities, to ensure that COVID-19 related administrative orders, such as mandatory mask usage, are being properly observed. Those failing to observe the orders will be provided with guidance or, if necessary, apprehended for prosecution. During the enforcement period, violators will be subject to a fine of up to 3 million Korean won or a penalty of up to 100,000 Korean won, in addition to a charge for quarantine costs stemming from the violation. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.